Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Random Thoughts. Today's thought, that was a lot of T's put together, T-H-S-L. Today, <laughs> today's thought, um, once again, about uh, the losers who stormed the Capitol and just the amount of privilege that had to go into thinking that you can storm the Capitol and that nothing would come of it, that you wouldn't be punished, that, that nothing would happen to you. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of funny, but then at the same time, it's, you know, it's irritating. Um, now, when the people stormed the Capitol, there were, I, I will probably say majority of black people looked at it and said, if we even attempted to do something like that, because we, we, we saw the stark difference between when some Black Lives Matter uh, protesters were showing up um, and when these people showed up. Uh, and then you, you also, you know, there's a stark difference uh, between that and you also have to remember and, and also the response to it and you also have to remember that um, there were those there who sympathized with their cause and also the fact that uh, former President Trump refused to send in the National Guard that was, you know, there was attempts to keep the I'm trying to think of the word excuse me there were there were, there were attempts to keep the the proper response from being met I don't know if that makes sense uh, basically he, he kept the National Guard from showing up he let the situation worsen um, five people lost their life uh, in that and, and here's the thing that's confusing to me if I were to, if I were to be with somebody, uh, say rob a bank, because I believe bank robbery is a federal crime. Um, if I was to be with someone when they're robbing a bank, and I'm driving the car, and somebody dies in the midst of the bank robbery, and we get caught, I am liable for this person's death because I was involved in the act that perpetrated, you know, that, that life to be lost. So bare minimum, I, I feel that every person there was culpable for every life that was lost because had they not been there, that situation wouldn't have happened. Um, and it's, it's a weird thing that some of the people that lost their lives, excuse me, some of the people who lost their lives, um, they were a part of the assault and you don't wish ill on people, but at the same time, in a, in a way in which they look at other people, had they not been there, it wouldn't have happened. Uh, just as one of the officers who was attacked and I believe it said drug down the steps, you know, he thanked the people. There was many people who said, you know, that was wrong what they did to you. We apologize. He said, thank you for the ones who helped me, but at the same time, F you, because it wouldn't have, y'all were still there. You know, there's, and it's so funny. They went up there as proud Americans, as patriots, trying to take back our country. And then when the consequences showed up, they were just like, oh, but I, you know, I, I just got caught up in the moment. I 
I, you know, I just got pushed in. It's, it's always funny. And just to be, you know, just to be clear, um, Republicans aren't the only ones who, you know, conservatives, the Republican Party aren't the only ones who may shirk their responsibilities um, or accepting responsibility. But seeing as how they are the ones who all about personal responsibility and picking yourself up by your bootstraps and just, you know, being the master of your own destiny or what, whatever, what, what have you. The fact that every time something happens, they never want to take responsibility. You know, they don't want to take responsibility for the fact that they stormed the Capitol, broke in, stole stuff. Uh, this one guy took some letters and put a quarter down. He's like, I'm not a thief. Uh, that part was more than a quarter. But you paying for something that was not for sale still makes you a thief. You weren't supposed to be in that area in the first place and you took something, you know, potentially classified regardless of, you know, and, and classified doesn't have to mean like top secret, you know, foreign dignitary stuff or, you know, launch codes or what have you. It's just information that we're not privy to. It could be something simple. But by the nature of it being classified, you know, it, it is what it is. So you taking it, it's, it's not for sale. So you taking it means you're stealing it. You know, you can try to rationalize it all you want, but that's kind of how it is. Um, but, um, I want to talk, <laughs> I probably say that one, but, uh, but I want to talk about just how, how quick, how quickly everything turns. Um, you know, they're so proud and, uh, start getting look for the FBI, start, start getting put on no fly, no fly list. Now all of a sudden, Hey, you know, we didn't really know what we were doing. Um, and I just want to say, yes, she did. She did. Uh, and speaking of turning, um, you know, all these people thinking that Trump is going to uh, pardon them before he leaves, before he left office. He did none of that. And you have people being upset and saying, oh, I feel like we've been duped. And even the Proud Boys are saying, Oh, he's weak because more and more people are being found and being, you know, having charges filed against them. And their great savior was nowhere around to, to save them because he's never been anywhere to save them. He was never going to save them to begin with. There was nothing about them. They... <laughs> Sorry, there was nothing about him that said he was going to be their savior. You know, there was nothing about a fake billionaire. Uh, I don't, I don't know what about him led you to believe that he cared about the lower income people. Um, and just, there's a, a, a quick, another thought that I've been having, uh, that may seem a little cruel, that may seem a little cruel, but I feel like people were saying they, they've been duped or whatever. I feel like if you quote unquote fell for him. And it's just something you wanted to believe. I don't. I don't think you can actually fall for him, because there was nothing. It's not like he was even clever about his lies, about whatever. He's not a good liar. You know, he's not sneaky. Uh, 
he was saying stuff that was just blatant lies that can be easily fact-checked. But I guess if you are only paying attention to news outlets that support that narrative, then you're never getting the any uh, opposing viewpoints, opposing information. Um, so, yeah. It's, <laughs> but, yeah, the... They, they never... These people never want to... They, they don't want to take responsibility for following a narcissistic racist um, who tried to support fascism. Um, they don't want to take credit for allowing all this to happen. Um, and that's much more directed at people such as Fox News, Mitch McConnell, Liz Graham, people who now all of a sudden want to act like that they've been standing on the right side of history the whole time. But now they have all these things to say and it's just kind of like, shut up. Like, you know, um, because they... What's, what's the phrase? Uh, throw the rock, hide your hand. And they're they're desperately trying to hide their hand in what they... to what they, I don't want to say allowed to happen, what they perpetuated. And, you know, not just them, I believe you know, there's some Democrats who allowed it to happen because instead of putting them in check, they, act, they kept acting like there was nothing for them to do when yes, there was, you know, other things that, you know, we could have done, um, or they could have done, because I don't have any power, but they could have done to hold him accountable for all the things that he's done, because he's, because based off inciting the riot, um, you know, and, you know, pretty much endorsing tradition, he is currently being impeached for the second time. Um, and it's, it's just, it's just funny because I, I can't remember her name. After the first time she was like, oh, uh, I want to say Senator Collins. She was all like, oh, I'm pretty sure he learned his lesson. Like based on what, what lesson did he learn? The only lesson that he learned was that he can, you know, just go short of committing treason by asking a foreign government to spy on his political rival and that people will I'm sorry, it's just my, my brain synapse is just had a misfire just trying to just think about this that just the thought of oh well he got a he got impeached okay being impeached is not the punishment getting removed from office is the punishment and the fact that he did a lot of things even before that phone call um, and by the way, there was another phone call to which he could have, you know, should have been impeached from saying, hey, let's, you know, just need to find me 11,800 votes or 8,000, I'm sorry, 11,780 votes so he could win the election and flip Georgia back. It's, it, every time but they back one of his ridiculous claims every time that he said something outrageous and they uh, every time they co-signed him 
every time he did something that he should have been called out for and they didn't they they allowed this to happen they push it to happen if you have a child and you let that child do whatever or uh, let's just put it in a school sense um if you have a child who does wrong in class the teacher tries to discipline them but the parent comes up and says no you know my son doesn't, my son and daughter doesn't have to do this 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 they don't have to listen to you this that and the other and then there's no punishment for the child then that child is not going to care what the teacher has to say because they know that somebody else is backing them up no matter what they do that there will be no consequences for their actions it's just i'm sorry it's just it's just confusing <laughs> it's confusing how people were confused that this type of thing would happen because it's exactly what we were saying that was ha that would happen um him thinking that he's bigger than all of this and somehow he he is a government all into himself and he's just one he's the head of one branch and he's never taken responsibility for anything that he said during his presidency really uh Senators, congressmen, congressmen and women don't want to take responsibility for, um, you know, how they, sorry, how they, how they feel about them. They don't want to take responsibility for egging him on. The followers don't want to take responsibility for the, for the actions that they did. Um, at the Capitol, um, and a lot of leaders don't want to take responsibility for not nipping in the bud when they had the chance to. But hopefully, we can uh, you know, we can move forward. He's gone because all his uh, <laughs> all the platforms that he have to, to be able to speak are no longer available. But the people are still here, and we'll have to deal with them. <sighs> but we can talk about that on another time in another video. Um, but that was just my thought. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you agree or disagree, leave a comment. Let me know how you like it. Um, if you'd like to hear more of conversations like this, um, you can listen to my main podcast, Bold Expressions, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, uh, Anchor.fm, and everywhere podcasts can be found. Thank you. Have a great day.